वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द आरसी सेक्शन सो हियर वी विल डिस्कस ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एडीज थ्योरम एंड वी विल गो थ्रू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एडीज थ्योरम इन द एडीज थ्योरम स्टेट्स दैट बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ एन आर्क एक्सिस इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द वर्टिकल इंटरसेप्ट बिटवीन थ्योरेटिकल आर्क एंड सेंटर लाइन ऑफ द एक्चुअल एक्सिस सो दैट इज द डेफिनेशन of ed theorem and we will explain through the a diagram so let us consider a c b b the actual arch and a dash c dash and b dash b the theoretical arch or line of thrust let us consider then from the definition note note down that bending moment at any point of an arch axis bending moment at any point of an arch axis let us take the point this is a point at the actual arch okay bending moment at any point that means bending moment at q is proportional to the vertical intersect between theoretical arch vertical intersect between theoretical arch and center line of the actual axis theoretical arch this is the theoretical arch so it is we have to prove that m q is directly proportional to this distance that is p q so this is our main intention to prove bending moment at q is directly proportional to the vertical intercept between this theoretical arch and the actual arch that is p q in this figure so let us consider if you take a point let us take the point p let us take the point p and if you are taking the component a tangential forces acting and if you resolve this into two components this angle is theta so this value is going to be t cos theta and here it is going to be t sin theta so that these are the two components if you split so the horizontal component will be t cos theta and the vertical component will be t sin theta and if we are going to take the bending moment at q then what is going to happen only this influence of t cos theta is going to happen and t sin theta is passing through this same point so the influence of t sin theta is zero and the bending moment is influenced by this horizontal component t cos theta multiplied by pq so the bending moment at q is t cos theta multiplied by pq and if no loads are acting if there is no loads over this arc is acting so the horizontal component will be same throughout the arc so we can say that bending moment at q is directly proportional to the vertical intercept between the theoretical arc and the center line of the actual axis or actual arc so this is based on the theorem eddy's theorem i hope the section is very clear for you with this we'll wind up today's section thank you